Hey everybody, this is Linda Cromar coming to you from uh, Twitter and uh, Periscope and I'm in Colorado and welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Let's have fun. Let's talk and I want to share with you some really awesome ideas on how you, no matter who you are and no matter how much uh, you think that your age has anything to do with it. It doesn't. And I'm going to talk about you some things that really can help you build your business no matter what it is. And let's definitely get into a great discussion today. Oh, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Did you know that the highest, uh, this is just a, a statistic I found out just, uh, just uh, the other day, the highest actually, um, statistic of people that are joining some of these new networks especially uh facebook are actually uh, in the 40 to 75 year old group so that means that all of our grandmothers and grandfathers are joining so if you're one of those say hi i'm a grandma say hi i'm a grandpa uh be proud of it for one thing that's really good that's really really good and share this because i'm going to give you some good stuff some really really good stuff today and i think that it'll really be helpful to you so number one i'm going to start out with one of the big owls ow, 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 that a lot of people are doing because they don't know better. But uh, I, I really believe you need to know this. And that is stop being the automat. Now, what do I mean by that? The automat is the person that keeps on sending out the very same message day after day after day. And it's all about their business and it's all about the money that they want you to think they're going to make and it's not true because it's hypey you know what no company can guarantee that you can earn income and it's actually against the ftc rules to um to actually do that so absolutely don't be guaranteeing any kind of income and don't be guaranteeing that anybody's going to be successful because it's all based on who they are and how much they're going to apply themselves to what they're taught and what they can get out of it so share this we're going to we're really going to get deep here today so absolutely you want to be part of this you want to really understand it an automat is somebody that sends their link out there constantly Constantly, 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 and thinks just by repetition they're going to win. And the, getting ahead today, I don't know. That depends on you. Absolutely depends on you because it. I can teach and I can train and I can share, but I don't know your work ethic, and that's a big deal. So this is about uh, especially the older marketer, but it can be anybody. You share this with all of your followers. I'm going to give you some good stuff here. So, and then number two, know who you are and know who you aren't. Now think about that for a minute. Who are you? Who do you want to be as a marketer? Don't copy anybody else. Be you, but be the best you. In other words, don't try to copy anybody else. I'm not going to answer those kind of silly questions. I don't know anything about you. So I cannot answer that question. Uh, know who you are and know who you aren't. In other words, you might really uh, not like somebody like Gary Vaynerchuk. He's a very, very good marketer and he really knows his stuff. But I know that I'm not going to become somebody that cusses. I'm not going to do that because that isn't me. And if I started to behave that way, you would know right away that I was fake. And if you're fake, you are not going to make it if you fake it. That is such a, uh, that's a lie that is out there in the world right now with business. And it's not true to fake it to make, till you make it. What does work is to learn the right things and to gain uh, a, a, a good feeling of who you are. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you were about to get blocked, so you definitely don't want to have some funny uh, uh, and, uh, you know, don't try to get attention on these things by just putting up silly uh, comments that don't have any relevance with what we're talking about. I'm trying to give you good stuff here, so uh, respect that. 
And definitely, I appreciate all the hearts, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That helps me uh, rank, and I try to give you good stuff, so I appreciate that. Okay, number three, only share what truly resonates. Now, think about that. If you, um, I don't want to get into controversial how do you give a heart? You tap, tap, tap on the screen and it, and it, and the hearts every time you tap. That's how you do it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that very much. So only share what truly resonates with you. What resonates? What is really kind of part of who you are? Uh, and I don't mean negative stuff necessarily, but, but, uh, like for instance, a good example is Gary Vaynerchuk. He is very raw. And a lot of people don't like him because of his rawness. David Wood is another person that's kind of raw. But you know what? He has a huge following because some people really resonate. And there's nothing wrong with the way they, they do things. It just might not be the way you do things. And that's why you need to figure out who you are enough that you know who you do not want to follow and who you do want to follow and who you want to uh, learn from so that you can get to be a better marketer yourself. Okay, number four, give what you want to get. Now, this is a biggie. A lot of people really, really want a sale. But obviously, you're not going to get a sale before you've created some rapport with people. Now, how do you do that? You find out what their pain points are, and you give advice and help that really is going to uh, benefit them whether or not they actually decide to join you at that moment or not. And most of the time, they're not going to join you on the first exposure anyway. Understand that. That's just human nature. They want to get to know you first. They're not going to join you on the first exposure. So make sure that you give something that they want. And a lot of the time it's information. It could be free stuff. You can find it out on the internet all over the place. Or you can share really good thoughts, quotes, and then bring your own personality into it. That's really, really, really key. Have, number five, have a clear focus and direction. A clear focus. Okay, if you're just on Facebook, let's just say it's Facebook because I'm on there more than I'm anywhere else. Uh, if you're on Facebook and you'd rather play games than anything else, then be okay with that. But if you're a marketer and you're showing everybody that you're playing games all day and then you are uh, also uh, sharing your link all over the place, you're probably not going to get a whole lot of uh, traction with that because of the fact that a lot of the time people will see what you post or what you share because Facebook actually takes your activity on a game. I don't know if you know this or not, but they take your activity on a game and they post it to the main feed. So if you are doing games, I would suggest having a separate account that's just for that purpose. It's not that it's a bad thing, but don't mix it with your business because it's going to hurt you if you do. Okay, um, number six, actually be there actually be there. In other words, take the time to have your mind in the game of whatever it is you're doing. If you're marketing or if you're building rapport or if you're talking to people about your business or you're helping them get started, whatever it is, be there in the moment instead of trying to think of five different other things that you might be doing at the same time because nobody does well with a split focus. Keep your focus where you need to have it. Okay, be, number seven, be consistent, persistent, and relentless. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that you are always going to have a learning curve. You're always going to have to work a little bit at it. It's not instant. Uh, when you're working on a business, no matter what it is, it takes time. It's not quick. But it's absolutely imperative that you realize you're going to be consistent. What do I mean by consistent? You need to have some daily activity, whatever that is, that for you makes you have the ability to create eventually sales. Now, that's why I always talk about building a list, because you need to have the opportunity to share with them uh, 
good value as you go along so that they start to get warmed up to you and then they're probably going to say what is that that you've been sh that you've been telling me about that you're part of let me check it out again and relentless means don't let any failure or drawback or uh, stumbling block keep you from your goals okay so I hope that makes some sense eight stop pushing your thing 24 7 in other words a uh, repetition of throwing the same link out there is not going to create what you want. I promise you that people get a little tired of it. Tell me, okay, here's an audience participation thing here. Tell me, what do you do when you're on TV and a commercial comes on that you've seen 15 times that night? What do you do with that commercial? Do you watch it? Do you pay attention? Or do you just ignore it? Do you walk a, walk away and grab a snack? I think a lot of people don't pay attention to commercials. And if you are going to be a commercial, I promise you it's going to hurt you. You watch it. <laughs> well, there is some good marketing sometimes that's worth watching it. But most of the time, I tune it out. I do something else. So uh, what I'm saying is don't be a commercial. A commercial doesn't actually get you anywhere. So, okay, and here's a big one again. Number nine, thank people. Thank people when they join you. Thank people when they buy from you. Thank people even today when they're giving you good comments, when they're uh, giving you hearts like you guys are doing today, and thank you so much for that. And thank people for attending. They are giving you part of their time and time is one of the most precious commodities because time cannot be replaced thank people all the time be grateful for your customers even if it's only one okay number 10 tell them what to do to get more if you're online and you give them good value, you share a blog post or you share something that's of value in some way or somebody else's content that you found good enough to share with your own audience, then tell them what to do next. Do they need to get on your blog? Do they need to get on your, your um, email list? Whatever else they need to do, make sure that you tell them what they need to do, B-O-B. B-O-B. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, unless that's Bob. <laughs> Who's Bob? <laughs> but anyway, tell them what to do to get more. Now I'm going to recap these uh, because I think they're really important and uh, there's not a lot of people on here, but if you share this, I promise you people will be happy you did because this is good content. And I'm giving you content. I'm not just giving you a sales pitch, am I? So number one, don't be an automat. In other words, don't just constantly just share stuff all over the place and have no focus whatsoever. Number two, know who you are and know who you are not. Number three, only share what truly resonates to you. Four, give what you want to phone and I didn't put it on um I didn't put it on uh, Do Not Disturb. I, I guess I better do that, huh? <laughs> so number four, give what you want to give. Get from people. If you want people to treat you well, you need to treat them that well back. Hearts is a way to show people that you like what you're hearing and you're getting. That's why people do hearts and you can never do too many. Uh, five, have a clear focus and direction. Don't do games and and your business and your family stuff and everything else all mixed together so that nobody has a clear idea who you are and what you do. Six, be there. Be completely focused on that person when you're working with them and make sure that their ans you answer their questions and take good care of them because a customer that is happy is a customer that stays and buys again. Be con number seven, be consistent, persistent, and relentless. 
And what I mean by that is understand that through a lot of time is when the success starts to happen. It's not an instant process. Be persistent. That means do it and do it. And be okay with a little bit of adjustment along the way. Don't think you have to just set it in stone and never change anything. And then relentless means don't give up. Don't quit just because something didn't work out. Eight, stop pushing your thing 24-7. The more you push, the more you push, the more people back off. What happens when you go into a store and a salesman jumps on you? The Oh, even better. What happens when you go on a car dealership lot? The very first thing that happens, tell me what happens when you go on a car lot. Nobody's talking to me anymore. What's the deal? Are you still there? Are you still there? If you aren't, let me know. Okay. Anyway, what do you do when you get on a car lot? When you're on a car lot, what happens? A pushy salesman that wants the commission comes up to you almost immediately, don't they? And when they come up to you, what is your first <laughs> what is your first response? Your first response is, I am just looking. Don't talk to me yet. I'm not ready to talk to anybody about a sale yet. <laughs> Number nine, thank them. Number nine, thank them. And then, uh, what the heck? I don't know what that is. Is somebody on this trying to call me because that isn't cool if they are okay so number nine thank people and number 10 tell them what to do to get more of what you have to offer in other words there's going to be more i have all kinds of good stuff for you on my website it's lindacromar.com you can get to it from uh anywhere on the internet you could actually google my name and find out that i have content i have other places i am and i share good stuff everywhere i go and it is worth it to be a grandma or a grandpa and win on the internet so i want to share with you with me and i always do this at the very end so that you know how to connect with me as well and I hope you can see that. I also have the 10 points that I went over today. And those are what we went over. And you can absolutely use that in your own marketing. And make sure to connect with me on Facebook. If you come over to Facebook to my profile and ask to be friends, I will be friends with you back. The only thing you have to do is give me a little message in my inbox saying I just saw you on Periscope and I'm connecting and that's all you got to do and let's connect let's have fun let's learn how to be better marketers let's really be successful on the internet I'm here for you let's talk let's get together bye for now